Hello and welcome to Under the Magnifier, ahead of the big Group 2 Sharp EIT Solutions Australia stakes here at the Valley on Saturday. To help me take a good close look at this race is Ben Kaluzzi and Ben looks an intriguing race with a mixture of the three-year-olds and the older horses. Absolutely it does, hopefully it's a cracking condition highlighted by a few three-year-olds especially at the top of the market. We do have a bit of intel that Brave Mead is likely to come out and go to Caulfield and the Manfred. Southport Tycoon's definitely running here in Centrefire. The Kieran Ma and David Eustace team are still undecided. But we'll go through the market now. V8 is quite short. He's the $2.50 favourite from recommendation $4.20. Brave Mead, as you've said, coming out $7. Centrefire $11. Southport Tycoon $11. Sweet Ride $16. Speed map will be all important here for the 1200 metre contest. There's a number of horses that could possibly go forward a few from out wide. How do you see the speed map? I think Snapper will cross and lead them. Uh, struck by is another horse who likes to go forward. V8, I think he just finds that lovely perch from Barrier 5. And with Brave Mead coming out, I think there might be a spot for recommendation, but still not ideal Barrier 10. Then you've got horses like Curran who will be well out the back. As we now take a look at some of the leading chances in the race, we start off with the race favourite with V8. Last seen at the end of spring, ran really well in the Coolmore and a horse that resumed uh, with an impressive performance in the spring. Yeah, as you said, he ran so well in a Coolmore and he ran second in a Caulfield Guineas. But first up over 1,200 metres last preparation, the, the camp openly came out and said he wasn't ready here. He was woolly in the coat, supposedly wasn't ready. He still bolted in, in the McNeil Stakes. It was a really impressive performance, as you can see in this replay. He'll be more forward this time around, more mature, and he's definitely the horse to beat. He gets a chance to get a Group 2 nice and early in this, prepar in this preparation. Next up is recommendation in really good form in Sydney, but also a horse that we saw here at the Valley early in the spring last season, oh, last year. Yeah, we did. Uh, he led this race and he beat two decent horses in Gemma's Son and Corner Pocket, but it was a handicap and he was down in the weights with 51 and a half kilos with Carleen Heffel on board. So he still has to make that step to wait for age group two company, but if he gets across nicely from the map, Johnny Allen's a good booking. He's, a, he's one of the main chances. Now, spoken a lot about V8, obviously a top chance here, but not the only three-year-old. And a couple of others here in Southport, Tycoon and Centrify actually beat V8 home in the Caulfield Guineas prelude in the spring. I think it was a bit of a, a forgive for V8 in this race. He probably wobbled around the turn and did a few things wrong. But nonetheless, Southport, Tycoon and Centrify were awesome. They were only narrowly touched off by a very good three-year-old in Stepardi. And although they did get the charm run there, there's every chance they get it again with nice low draws. I think uh, Southport Tycoon is the, clearly the pick of him, uh, and he beat a really nice horse named Akasita, who I rate highly the start prior. And got a couple of the older horses coming out of the standish there at Flemington in Crosshaven and Curran. Do you think that's the right form race for this? Potentially they are quite high on the odds. I know they were well beaten by a horse named Sharipa. He looks an up and coming star from South Australia, but that horse is Oakley plate favourite and there was big gaps in behind. So I wouldn't fully rule them out. I just think Curran is potential map issues from Barry 11. Yeah, both probably drawn a little bit awkward here. That's our look at some of the leading chances. Now, a $100 betting strategy. How are you playing it on Saturday? I think he is a little bit short at the moment, but I'm with V8. I'm going to have the $80 on V8 and I'll have a $20 exactor. So that's $10 for each combination for three and 11 to beat V8. They are recommendation in Southport Tycoon yourself. Yeah, we've gone very similar here. I spent a long time trying to go around V8 at the price, but at the end of the day, I think he'll prove that he is the best horse here. So $90 the win on V8 and going a box try, $10 here. Number two, Curran, number eight, V8 and number 11, Southport Tycoon. Well, hopefully we've steered you into a winner on Saturday and we hope you can join us here at the Valley for the Group 2 Sharp EIT Solutions Australia Stakes.